Welcome to my Hearts of Iron 3 tutorial. Here I will show you how to add countries to the game. First go to your Hearts of Iron 3 folder. Then go to the common folder and open the countries file. Here you add your new countries tag like it is here. Then go to the countries folder, add your new country by copying and pasting an already ex existing country. as an example. Here you find the color of your country, the appearance of the units, the last election and the duration, templates for, um, for your country, unit names, in case you want custom of, th of those, and finally, the ministers, the leaders of your country, uh, and the minister in your government. For all parties, uh, ideally, it, uh, pictures, kind of minister, start date, end date, everything. There, that you will find here. Once you added uh, a file in the countries folder, add that here. First the countries folder, then the name of the country I've added, .txt, with your <coughs> with the country tag you want. It must be unique, you can't <coughs> it can't have been used before. So check for all the existing search for all the existing tags to ensure it is not already have been taken. Once that is done, save, exit the file, go back to the main folder, into the GFX folder, flags folder. Here you add a flag to your country, you can um, make your own, it's a TGA file, or you can copy an older existing flag and rename it to your country tag. Then go back to the history folder, another country folder, here you will make a new file for a country. You can copy an already existing one. For an example, let's take Luxembourg. Here you see the capital. Here you spe specify the province in, in which you want it. Uh, the type of government, ideology, uh, your starting ministers uh, at the start of the game. It may differ at later start dates. Your alignment, uh, democracy, uh, fascism, uh, communism, and so on. Uh, neutrality, uh, starting, it may change later in the file at the later start dates. National unity, OBB, order of battle, is your starting units. It's this file here. You can change it if you want different start units. Here you are starting um, skills for your country. You may change those if, if you want to. Uh, these are technologies or doctrines. Uh, popular starting popularity for parties at the start of the game. Starting organization for parties, how strong they are and so on. Uh, starting laws. Here you see a later start date. 
So before a start date before that date, uh, we'll use <coughs> the things above it. After that date, it will start using uh, the things specified here. As in 1938, it will use the Lux, Lux 1938 order of battle instead of the starting 1936. So it changes uh, after a couple of years. Uh, also, new ministers in 38, another uh, order of battle in 39, also new ministers. 1940, the young allies uh, get their neutrality, and in 1940, they also got no uh, order of battle at all. After you've done that, uh, added a file to your new country, go back uh, for the final step, the localization folder, go to the countries file, another one of those. Here you see the name for your country, as an example, uh, FRA, France. In first English, uh, French, German and Spanish. Uh, if you're not using a language other than um, English, or uh, only one of the others, you don't need to change them. You might only want to change uh, the name of the country in the in the language you're usi using for your game. So thi this is the name that will show up everywhere in the game for your country. Uh, not only that, but if you go down until you start seeing uh, ADG, you start seeing uh, what they call your country uh, what they call its people and its units and everything they have so in the case of Germany they are called German uh, with Britain, British the Soviets Soviet, American, Japanese, French, Italian, Danish, Icelandic and so on so you need to add one of each for your country so a name and this if you don't add them, add them uh, it might not work or at least they will not show up and uh, do some strange things instead so you should add them it's also easier to see what country it, it is. So, that's it. That's really everything you need to uh, to add a country. Of course there's more things you can do and add, but that's the basic steps of adding a country. The steps I always use when I make my videos. You can do more advanced and complicated stuff like adding a an advanced uh, order of battle or uh, adding new parties and uh, leaders, diplomacy and so on. You also of course in order for your country to be shown on the map because you have only created it, you have not given it any land yet. So, what you do is go to the history folder, countries folder, yes, another one of those countries folder. No, wait. <laughs> That's wrong. The province folder, is it? Go to the province folder. Here you see uh, different provinces in the world divided into several folders. Uh, representing different regions of the world, as in Africa, South America, and so on. So go to the uh, the folder with the region in the world where you want to make a country, as an example, let's take Africa. 
Heresy. These are the African um, provinces of uh, independent African countries uh, like Liberia and South Africa. Uh, Britain's uh, African provinces are not included here, they are in the uh, Britain folder or the United Kingdom folder. So that's a bit uh, problematic in case you wanted to make a pan African country. It will be a little tougher to do that. Uh, but anyway, here you have some examples. So what you do is open a province file. You see the owner controller and uh, who's got the core on the province, also its infrastructure. And then if you go back and uh, open a industrial country's province like Germany. Um, let's see. Look by size. I didn't matter. Um, let's search for uh, Berlin. Here we got Berlin. Here you see the points, the victory points, metal. Uh, the metal and the energy, rare materials in uh, it produce, also its industry. It's uh, you c in the game you can only b uh, build max ten, but really you can just uh, uh, add a couple of zeros if you want. It uh, it actually work. No, I know you may uh, crash at some point, but you can uh, like maybe not hundred, but you 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 can add like. 50 in case you want. Uh, Anti-air infrastructure, all those are max 10 in in game, but it, it actually works if you raise it even high. Uh, air base manpower, that's not max 10, I think. No, uh, these are like uh, these. They are. There are no limit to them. Um, we if we go back to Africa, you see the owner should be self-explanatory. The controller, who currently is occupying the province, currently it's his own owner. Core, who have a claim or consider the province to belong to them. In this case, all three is South Africa. For another example, if we go to to Danzig, you will see its owner is not actually uh, neither Germany or Poland. For some reason, it's Japan. Don't ask. But you see, the important part is its core. Is Germany, at least it's Japan and Germany. It has multiple cores. And from 1914 on, its owner is Germany. So if you, if you start at that start date, it will be German instead of Japanese or Polish, as it usually is in the game. That's all. So I hope you find some use of this tutorial. It's the basic steps, but it uh, should be enough. It always works for me. So, uh, good luck in your country creating.